What's going on guys? So as you know, I've been waiting up on a lot of stuff to catch up on my favorite swashbuckling superhero, which is of course, Zoro. And while I was looking through a lot of audiobooks to listen to in my spare time, I found um, one that was based off of the Mark of Zoro book. And I decided to listen to that and I was like, okay, it was fine. Then I listened to the further adventures of Zoro and then I listened to Zoro Rides again. And when I was done with those books, I've been getting a lot of audiobook requests for different versions of the Mark of Zorro. And that should come as no surprise because Zorro has been like around since the 1920s. And of course there are multiple different audiobooks by multiple different readers about this book. And it's it's no big surprise. So I decided to listen to those audiobooks and to see which one is the better out of the ones I've listened to so far. And honestly, I think we got a winner. And it is the Mark of Zorro dramatization starring Val Kilmer. Which for those of you that are unfamiliar, Val Kimmer was a really big name back in the 90s and he played in a lot of movies. Most notably Batman Forever where he starred alongside Tommy Lee Jones and Jim Carrey. Which to me would make sense that they would give him the starring role in this dramatization. And believe it or not, he's actually really good. And when you listen to it, his voice switches from um, Zorro to Don Diego just like on the fly perfectly. He, he, he nails it, that's all I gotta say. And the rest of the cast is really great and I enjoy every single moment of it. And the director behind this is one Yuri Rozovsky, who also founded the National Radio Theater in Chicago in 1972 which means that this guy has had a lot of experience. And you could tell because there was a lot of heart and love and care put into the story and put into the actors, put into like the, the sound effects to make it like seem more authentic. And don't get me wrong, I love traditional audiobooks where the author pretty much reads the book to you or sometimes they'll get a narrator to do it. But I love when they take stories and dramatize it and make audiobooks more fun. And this is what this was for me, fun. And hearing Val Kimmer's voice in this role is just such a delight. But yeah, nothing more I could give this but a five out of five. Absolutely spectacular.